Welcome to NYNJPA Weather, your weather source for the northern mid-Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Stephen DiMartino. This morning a warm front is well to the north of the northern mid-Atlantic, leading to some very warm conditions throughout the region. High temperatures today are going to be into the 60s in many locations, and close to the water in the uh, mid to upper 50s, especially over uh, eastern Long Island. The overall theme here is that uh, enjoy the warm air while you can because it's not going to last very long. A strong cold front that is currently over the eastern Great Lakes will continue to move east as an area of low pressure that is currently over eastern Canada drives into the Canadian Maritimes. That low pressure is going to set up a negative NAO pattern over the northwest Atlantic which is going to have some implications for our storm on Thanksgiving. Now, meanwhile, we have an area of low pressure that is developing around the Red River Valley, which is basically the border between Oklahoma and Texas. This low pressure center will drive towards the Great Lakes over the next 48 hours and produce a powerful storm over the central Great Lakes. We're talking about uh, pressures falling down to 987 millibars, which is rather impressive for this time of year. So, what's going to happen for the northern Atlantic? Well, let's take a look at the forecast. On the radar this morning, we see rain starting to move towards the uh, northern Atlantic, currently over central Pennsylvania. These uh, showers are going to break up as uh, much of the forcing or lifting with this cold front will be more focused towards New England. However, enough showers will move through this afternoon into the evening rush hour to create some minor ponding on the roadways. For the most part, this is not a big deal. Because of the warm nature of the atmosphere ahead of this uh, cold front, there is a potential for a few isolated thunderstorms, but really this is not a major event in any way whatsoever. This cold front will move through, and by tomorrow morning we'll be off the east coast, off of the uh, over the New Jersey coastal waters, with a few lingering showers into Wednesday morning, but really, again, not a huge deal here. But that pretty much sets up for Thanksgiving. The cold front's to the south, we have rather cool air building into the region no longer 60s but looking at more like 40s to lower 50s for highs on Wednesday and moving into Thursday well that's where things get interesting let's take a look at the latest model guidance this is the GFS from uh, last night uh, pretty much most of the model guidance is in agreement with the timing of this warm front that is going to drive through the Ohio Valley and the uh, southern Mid Atlantic and impact the northern Mid Atlantic that would be New York City and New New Jersey and uh, the Philadelphia metropolitan areas. Uh, now, some interesting guidance is coming in this morning from uh, some models, uh, the NAM, for example, which slows down this warm front. Why? Well, you see that big low pressure center all the way out in the Canadian Maritimes, out in the Atlantic? That's our negative NAO pattern. That is producing a high pressure center that in this model guidance from the GFS if it's focused more towards the southern mid-Atlantic. However, in recent model guidance that's just coming out, it's starting to focus that high pressure center more towards uh, Quebec and uh, parts of Ontario. And that slows down the storm and slows down the warm front. It also keeps cool air over much of the uh, interior northern mid-Atlantic. Now, I'm not expecting any type of snow whatsoever with this event. However, it is interesting to take note exactly how the negative NAO pattern uh, transpires and how well the models handle that uh, development going forward. Overall though, I'm expecting rain to develop on Thanksgiving in the afternoon, becoming heavy at times as uh, the warm front tries to push north but fails. Meanwhile, our area of low pressure that is over the Great Lakes continues to bomb out, but because of the negative NAO pattern, a weak area of low pressure should start to develop off the New Jersey coast on uh, Thanksgiving evening. And as that low pressure center intensifies and becomes the primary low by Friday morning, cold air will rush in behind this low pressure center. Now let's look at Friday. So here we are at the surface map. Notice this low pressure center isn't able to move much further north and east. It's uh, basically starting to stall out around the uh, Hudson Bay area. And meanwhile, our new low pressure center is starting to develop around the Gulf of Maine. Now, again, the transition from the primary from the interior to the coast happens too late. This is uh, happens sometimes with a Miller B type of storm development. Uh, so I don't expect any type of major impact from this new coastal low as far as any changeover to rain or snow or anything of that nature. 
However, notice how the cold air is coming into the northern Atlantic and northeast. Uh, several points to keep an eye on. One, as the rain tapers off, especially over northeastern Pennsylvania and parts of the Hudson Valley, that cold air will be able to turn over or mix with uh, some snow into this rainfall. No accumulation, of course, but uh, just to keep an eye on it for some slick roads on a Friday morning. Another aspect to keep an eye on is that this cold air is going to be coming into the eastern Great Lakes, producing lake effect snow. I know a lot of people like to go up to western New York for Thanksgiving, so uh, use some caution if you're in northwestern Pennsylvania or western New York for uh, some pretty uh, impressive lake effect snow potential uh, for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We are looking at a rather chilly weekend for uh, Thanksgiving. Sure, it'll start out dry and cool for the uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade, but uh, from there on out, it's going to be uh, rather wet um, from uh, Thanksgiving evening on through Friday morning, and then chilly with a chance of scattered snow showers throughout the weekend. Uh, with temperatures struggling in the 40s and fall for highs and falling into the 20s and 30s for lows. So uh, clearly winter is on the way. Now how long does this last? Well that depends on how well the uh, how the negative NAO develops and how well the models handle that development. Right now there's a lot of volatility. You know, you don't like a solution. Just wait another six hours you'll get a new one. So what I would suggest is to stay five days at a time and uh, that will be the best forecast. I think anything beyond that becomes highly uh, volatile and questionable. So uh, that's uh, basically a look at the weather for Thanksgiving weekend. Thank you for visiting NYNJPA Weather, your weather source for the Northern Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Stephen DiMartino. Have a great day.